Welcome back, y'all. So for this week's video, I wanted to talk to you guys in how I should have died when I was younger. And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna give you three. Three examples in which each instant I should have been dead. This is all in my childhood too, so it's like, let's just get that away, because even though I am ready to die right now, I ain't that crazy anymore because when I was younger, oh boy, was I crazy. So for this first one, this was around when I was 10 or 12 years old. I was watching a movie and in this movie, somebody got stabbed with a pen. So I thought to myself, is it really possible to stab somebody with a pen? So what did my 10 or 12 year old self do? I went to the kitchen, got myself a pen, one of those round pen thingies, and stabbed myself in the chest full on force to see if it was possible to penetrate a skin with a pen. And all of it, it wasn't possible because I ended up penetrating and now I have a small scar right here where the damn pen was supposed to be in. So this, this is the scar that I have. A goddamn pen and just directly stab upwards. And so now I got this for the rest of my life to show me that, you know, hey, what kid stabs himself, honestly? Thankfully, it did not kill me because I did not got any ink poisoning off of that. All I got was like some oh, days worth of bleeding, but that was about it. But who? Who? Who in the right mind will stab themselves with a pen? The answer? Me, a pen or me. But that's not even, you know, the worst thing. Oh no, baby. Let me tell you about the time I almost got mauled to death. Now, during this time, I was in Mexico in my mom's house. Old house, her house, whatever. And they have this, you know, very large dog. And this dog is a goddamn hellhound. What I mean by that is that if you do not live in this house for more than three months, four months, use a stranger and he will attack you. And since we are visiting, trust my, what, eight, nine-year-old self, maybe 10, is scared of this gigantic ass dog. So at this time, it was just me and my grandma. Everybody else went to do their business besides us. We stayed home. And so I was outside in the swings that they have, just swinging around. And this dog comes up to me, barking and growling. And I went up the fence holding on. Now, I could have jumped over, but it's like about a six feet drop for like the fence to like the front of the house type of thing, since they are in like a hill type of thing. So jumping down, I know I was going to bust my leg, probably bust my head wide open. So I'm like, you know what? This is it. I'm going to die. Holding on to my dear life on this fence. But look, this dog just was standing his ground, just barking and growling. Until three minutes later, he turned around and walked away. So you know what I did? I jumped down on the fence. I ran right after him and kicked him straight in the ass, hitting his testicles. Then he jumped from the gate over to the outside. And I locked the door. You know, hey, you know, complete it. You know, you scare me, you get kicked in the ass. But that's not where it ends. Oh no, baby. Because then, as I'm going inside to get myself a snack, I guess I didn't close the door completely and it swung right open. I go back outside and now I look up and me and this dog give each other the best, best eye to eye contact. And I swear, this man was looking straight into my soul because he just looked, got ready, did a whole like bull maneuver right now, kicking back, and came charging at me. At that moment, I knew I was gonna die. Because, again, I am like, uh, how old is it, like a nine, 10 year old with a, you know, goddamn hook sized dog coming charging at me. I'm gonna get bold to death right now. So, what I did is I turned, took one step, tripped over a rock automatically, fell down, and luckily there's gravel around. So I grabbed the gravel, slam it behind me, so at least, you know, the dog can like get hit or something. And 
and I kid you not, I did a whole Scooby-Doo running sequence, mid-air running, before I blasted off. Until I got inside the house, slammed the door, and he was like this close of catching me. All for what? Kicking this man in his hands. And for the final, ooh, the best example of why I am not all in here. I am not sane. I am crazy in the head. I remember this day clearly. I was about six years old, maybe five, and my mom was downstairs washing her laundry. Only two people are in the house, it's just us. And what do I do? I look down the stairs, thought to myself, you know what would be really fun? If I just lay flat and roll down the stairs into the hard tile slash concrete. So, guess what I did for two days straight, three times each day. I rolled down the stairs, bumping my head, slamming my head against the concrete slash tile. Multiple times. Again, no concussion. Obviously, I didn't snap my neck or busted my head wide open. Oh no, baby. What I did is just got back up and going for round two. And then round three. Maybe round four. But I did not stop until my mom had to come out and be like, what the hell is you doing, my boy? Grabbed me, spanked me, threw my ass back upstairs. What did I end up doing? I ended up MacGyvering the whole room so I could come out since so she locked me in the room, go back to the stairs, and roll one small. Who? What child is rolling down the stairs? Like, look. This is the tile floor. Concrete underneath, right? This, these are the infamous stairs that I rolled from all the way up there. I just came down rolling full on speed until I hit the goddamn concrete floor. For two days straight, I kept down rolling down these damn stairs. Again, as a child, I was like about from there to here, just rolling down. Like, who? What child does this? What, like, what the hell is wrong with me? Hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully you guys now understand that I was not just a crazy person growing up. I was already crazy when I came out the womb. <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Share it to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I got other videos coming. I also got uh, other story times in which I've done some crazy stunts, let's say, and blood has poured out. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button to be notified when these videos are uploaded. Don't forget to follow me on my social media to get behind the scenes, any updates, or if you just want to see what I do on my day-to-day -day basis. Other than that, y'all stay safe out there because mm, don't turn it to me. <laughs> y'all! I'm rolling, 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 I'